So today when I was on X or Twitter, whatever you want to call it, I came across a very, let's just say, questionable video from the account whatever and decided to check it out. Why do you guys think that women should have the right to vote? Oh boy, is it an interesting one. <laughs> So if you guys don't know what the Whatever Podcast is, it is basically a podcast where the host, Brian, brings on mainly OnlyFans girls, but also other people on the podcast to talk about dating and relationships. Usually he brings on some conservative people or even more extremist red pill type people to debate the girls and try to make them look bad for his own satisfaction, I guess. But the show is really dumb most of the time, but I do have to give credit where credit is due uh, and applaud Brian for running a large and successful YouTube channel and hitting his niche. Anyways, in this particular clip of the podcast, we're going to be having a look at Believe it or not, a debate about whether women should be able to vote. Wait, what, what year is it again? 2023? Okay, gotcha. Just, just making sure. Yes, I was just as surprised as you were when I saw this clip. This video for me just feels like the biggest first world problem to ever exist. Imagine living in a free country, having the right to vote, and then changing your mind to be like, you know what? I want less rights, actually. I want to be more oppressed. Like, what? <laughs> Seriously. Uh, this lady on the show has it all backwards. But with that, I think it's time for me to watch what she has to say and hear her out because maybe she has a point. I don't know. Let's go into this with an open mind, shall we? I don't think my mind will be changing. I all think that women should have the right to vote. Yes. yes. Okay, right away you see these girls give the most sensible answer to the question, believe it or not, which is yes. Let's keep watching. She's a brainwashed, I think. <laughs> I'm not brainwashed. Um so she already low-key gets grilled a little by one of the OnlyFans girls here, and her fragile ego makes it so she has to respond back, denying the allegations right away. How surprising. Why do you guys think that women should have the right to vote? Why not? <laughs> Well, women are very emotional thinkers. Are you thinkers. saying we're not equal to men? We're, yeah, we're not. <laughs> and we're emotional thinkers. And okay. once women gain the right to vote, our country has become overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly more liberal and democrat, which is what brings us the culture of thinking that women can be men and men can be women. Do you just all not like that because you're not liberal? Like, society yeah, no, pushes a, different ideas on everyone all the time. And are you just against it because it's pushing being liberal? Now there is a lot to unpack here, but let's just start off with the fact that she is generalizing all women as emotional. I think C Dog VA has a pretty good response for this one. I just think generalizing people in general, uh, not a good thing. Not a good thing. I don't approve of that. I'm with Connor on this one. Listen, if you apply the logic that all women are emotional and don't have the emotional stability to cast a proper vote, then does that mean that women shouldn't be able to go to school, drive a car, buy a house, own a gun, read a book, browse the internet just because they are emotional? These are just a few examples of objectively more important things in any individual's life in America than voting is, and therefore these things women shouldn't do either. Do you see how silly that sounds? I really don't get it. Regardless of if you think this is a good analogy for the situation or not, not all women are emotional and not all men are not emotional. So what is the point you are trying to make here? <laughs> you would be gatekeeping voting against people who could easily properly cast a vote if you banned women from being able to vote. Women are not equal to men. This sentence could mean just about anything, so I don't really know how to address it in the context that she's framing it to be. If she is arguing that women should not be able to vote, then she is essentially arguing that women should have less rights than men, which to me could not be more of a stupid argument. 
I'm not going to address her last point about how women being given the right to vote increases the presence of the left in America, since it's purely anecdotal from what I can tell. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, by the way, uh, if there is evidence of before and after women being granted the right to vote causing an increase in the presence of liberalism, then cool. <laughs> but I'm also just not here to discuss politics, regardless of whether you think it is a good or bad thing, theoretically, if the country is becoming more liberal. I am only addressing why her reasons are bad that women shouldn't be able to vote. Like the world they're because angry? men are rulers, you know? You think that women would be better rulers than men? I don't think that women be, will be better rulers. But women can't even handle, like, high school there's friendships. Ev everything is about there is a lot of garbage that I'm cutting out since it is just a waste of time to include, but I find it funny how much misogyny is built up inside her that she just casually mentions that women can't deal with high school friendships, again with the generalizing, but she is literally just resorting to self-deprecating herself and women as a whole to try and get approval from the men in the room and on the internet, when I don't even think most men would agree with her to be honest. I'm pretty sure even Brian doesn't agree with her on this. Whether a man or woman should be ruling a country, I don't care personally. I don't really think one is better than the other, but again, feel free to prove to me that one is better than the other with concrete evidence, and then I will form my opinion. I trust a man's decision over my own. Why does she keep just generalizing? I guarantee you she doesn't actually believe this. It just seems too dumb. So the rest of the video is them just generalizing men and women more, so I'm not going to go through any more of it since I already wasted my time watching it, and it doesn't provide anything new to the table. I think the moral of the story here is just take every situation as it goes, like voting for someone in an election, and get rid of any preconceived notions you have based on gender. Judge them for a character, and it'll help you make better decisions in the long run. Anyways, thanks for watching, everyone.